What I'm going to do now is show you the contents of this box. As you see, it's on wheels and has a handle, so you can guess that actually it's the box that contains the waste product, the ash. And there you go. Once it's full up, we can effectively wheel it out to the garden and use it as fertiliser. Technically, it's too alkali. Technically, you should dispose of it as if it is chemical waste. But normally, we scatter it around the lawn and the garden, and normally, there's no problem at all. Um, well, I would not use it in one particular area, but do use it with alkali-loving plants. It can, of course, poison your garden. I've used too much of it in the wrong place with the wrong sort of plants. But actually, it's quite a good fertiliser. And imagine it's much better than the, the sort of CO2 output from a gas boiler. So this generally has cradle to grave use. Let me show you a close-up of what we have here. It is a very fine grit. Not like the sort of ash you may be used to from burning wood in an open fire. It is a very fine powder. There's almost nothing solid in there. Now more remarkably, this entire box we have here only needs to be emptied about once a year. Now in one year, we're going to use between four and five tonnes of wood fuel for this house. Just imagine that. I'll give you an impression in a second as to how much that is. What we have here is a half pallet of the wood pellet bags, each 15 kilograms. And that's the fuel we use. We're going to manually manhandle that over towards the hopper, which is over there. It's a very short distance, not too difficult. As you can see, we pile various garage junk on top of it. So like a wood block, lawn mower. Um, so that obviously, if I move that away, you can see here the bag level come up to here. Right, so how many do we need? How many is this? I say, this is a half pallet. This pallet here represents probably only half a tonne. Okay, so imagine normally it would be twice as high. Okay, now we're going to need about five tons a year. So another pallet is going to fit in this space here. So imagine that the volume's about up to here now. I can in theory get tonnage three up above my head here. Don't want to sack it too high, but you can do it. And where I'm standing now, this entire box I'm in, if I stacked about to where I am here, up towards the ceiling, that would be five tonnes. Now that does seem to be an awful lot of solid fuel. We don't quite use five tonnes, it's about four and a half, so probably not quite that much. But remember that lasts us a year. Now remember that small box there with the ash will take that entire year's worth of ash. So imagine the box I'm standing in in terms of volume to the ceiling, down to that small little ash box, is quite a reduction. So most, 95%, all that is burnt, is turned into gases, and almost very, very little solid matter remains. It's a very, very efficient burning mechanism.